Hey guys, JT here with another run of the Red Cat uh, Decano. This time I'm going to run it on 3S Lipo. I got, I've been kind of running it back to back, so it is a little bit warm. But I wanted to uh, try it on 3S Lipo. Um, I think if anyone does this, because it's not really recommended, but like I said before in the unboxing, the electronics are capable of doing that. The motor is capable of doing it, and so is the ESC, even though it's a 40 amp ESC. But I think you should probably gear it down a couple of teeth. Now, a couple things with the um, the uh, pinion gear or the teeth size on the pinion and spur gear is that it's not your standard uh, 48 pitch. It's that weird pitch. I forgot the name of it, but I'll talk about that more when I get to some of my first run thoughts of that. So that is something to kind of consider if you're going to run this on 3S LiPo. So anyway, let's see. Uh, no willy action. I thought I'd get a little bit of a willy going. That's still getting up pretty good. See, I know I'll take it off road and try to uh, run it out there as well to see how that runs. I think a um, a mild brushless system would do would do its, would do this car just it's good justice. It's just justice. <laughs> So I'm thinking about putting a Valenium system in here. Um, that should be plenty. And then running it also on um, 2S. I probably won't do 3S with it. So anyway, let's take this thing off road and see what we can do out there. All right, so got it off road. Let's see what it does. It's probably gonna lack a little bit in acceleration because of the, the higher gear ratio. Sorry, we had a commercial break there. We had a lady walking her dog and her dog was like looking back at the car, you know. Some dogs like these cars, some dogs hate them, some dogs are scared of them. Y'all kind of know how that plays, so. Wow, look at that, flipping it already on 3S. I think I've hit that before, my Rustler 4x4 when I was running it um, as well, and just broke one of the shot caps on it. So on 3S, it seems to be cruising pretty good. I'd be interested to see kind of what the uh, the motor temps are on it. But this is probably going about the speed of um, maybe almost a brushless model on 2S. It may be a little bit slower, but I have to see if someone's got some uh, speed test up of that running. But it's definitely running uh, quicker, a lot faster. And the LiPo I'm using is a 50C LiPo. So in case you guys want to know, everybody wants to know what kind of LiPo I'm using, I'm using the 50Cs. Uh, 50C, uh, 5200 milliamp, I believe is what it is. It's not doing too bad out here. I mean, it's soaking up these bumps and humps pretty good. The tires help out a lot. I mean, these are some pretty good tires on here. These would be probably in my top five choices of ready to run tires that come man i hope that was dirt i just ran through and not something else um of ready to run 10 scale uh, monster truck tires so <laughs> i'm just tripping off of that i'm trying to circle around it's like what was that i just ran through over there so the big pile of mud dirt or was it a doggy landmine Yeah, this is holding up well. If it couldn't run 3S, trust me guys, by now, it would have overheated and shorted out. It would it would have been a done deal. <laughs> the only thing I probably, like I said, I'd recommend is gearing down just a little bit. And also, before you run this, you should do this on all kits, but check your wheel nuts. Uh, one of mine was kind of loose when I was running it earlier on the very first run and uh, that could have easily have stripped my hex in there and that would have not made for a good next week or two because I would have had to order another tire and go through all that so make sure you guys check those and possibly check them oh so I'm saying check them after every run I'm not sure if those are just gonna periodically come loose or not um, Which I'll find out and I'll let you guys know on some of my first thoughts of this, but 
And will I do a skate park video with this? I don't, I don't know. Um, I'll think about that one. So I really don't want to start tearing up bodies. Then, you know, then again, I tell you guys I won't do it. And then y'all see a skate park video being posted up. So. This is running good, guys. This is running good. That's all I can say. For the price point, like you guys can beat it at this price point for it. I think one thing Red Cat does need to do is, um, Uh oh, it's slowing down. We get a little smoke. Oh, oh. So there you guys go. You can run it, but you can't. Look at that smoking. We smoked it. <laughs> I smelled it a little bit, so let's see what's going on. So I just talked all that smack. I know you can run them, but I think it's just over geared. So ah, let's get this off real quick and see what kind of damage we got. Poof. Look at that. The motor is gone. Um, speed control is okay. But I don't know if you guys can see that or not. That sucker is smoking. So, so you can, but you can't run 3S. You can run it for maybe a minute or two, and then that's it, and then you're going to smoke the motor. But I think this is also due to um, running it with the higher gearing and then running it off-road as well. So I'm pretty sure if I geared down, it probably wouldn't have happened. But, hey, at least you guys saw it, right? I ran it, and you can't do it on 3S. So, <laughs> And if you do, you better gear down because if not, you're going to end up with a smoke motor. So anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, conclude and end this video. Um, can't do any more running with it. So, of course, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to brush this so I can smell that too. It smells kind of good, actually. <laughs> so anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.